Well, hey everyone, Steve Patterson here from PhotoshopEssentials.com. In this video, I'll show you how and why to merge layers as smart objects in Photoshop. A popular way to work non-destructively in Photoshop is to merge our existing layers onto a new layer above them. By merging layers onto a separate layer, we can apply sharpening or make other changes to the entire image without the need to flatten the image and throw all of our existing layers away. But even merging layers onto a new layer still isn't the best way to work. Anytime we need to make changes to the underlying layers, we need to delete the merged copy, make our changes, and then merge the layers again. A better way is to merge our layers as a smart object. And that way, if we need to make a change, we can simply edit the contents of the smart object, save the change, and then have our change instantly appear in the document. And since we're working with smart objects, any filters we apply will be added as smart filters, which means we can sharpen the image or make other changes non-destructively. Let's see how it works. I'll be using Photoshop CC, but everything is fully compatible with Photoshop CS6. Let's get started. To help us see the benefits of merging layers as smart objects, let's quickly look at the problem with merging them onto a new layer. Here's an effect I'm currently working on in Photoshop. I downloaded the original image from Adobe Stock. If we look in the Layers panel, we see the layers I've used to create the effect. I started by converting the original image on the bottom layer into a smart object, and then I blurred the area around the woman's face using Photoshop's Blur Gallery, which was applied as a smart filter. I converted the image to black and white by adding a black and white adjustment layer. And finally, I changed her eye color by adding a hue saturation adjustment layer at the top. To merge all of my existing layers onto a new layer above them, I'll make sure I have the top layer selected. And then on my keyboard, I'll use the secret trick for merging layers onto a new layer, which is by pressing Shift, Control, Alt, and E on a Windows PC, or Shift Command Option E on a Mac. And this merges all three of my layers onto a new layer at the top. At this point, I can apply sharpening to the entire image by applying it to the merged layer. I'll go up to the filter menu in the menu bar, and then I'll choose Sharpen, and then Smart Sharpen. In the Smart Sharpen dialog box, I'll accept my current settings, and I'll click OK. And here's the image with the sharpening applied. But here's the problem we run into. Merging the layers onto a new layer made it easy to sharpen the image. But what if I need to make a change at this point to the effect? Maybe I want to adjust the blur amount, or remove the black and white adjustment layer, or even change her eye color. To make any of these changes, I would first need to delete my merged layer. And since I've already applied sharpening to the layer, I would lose my sharpening effect. Once I've made my changes, I would then need to merge the layers again onto another new layer above them and then reapply my sharpening. And if I decided to make another change at that point, I'd again have to delete my merged layer and redo all the steps. A better way to merge layers is to merge them as a smart object. Smart objects are entirely non-destructive, so we can make any changes we need whenever we need without having to delete any merged copies, and the changes will instantly appear in the document. And when we sharpen the image or apply any of Photoshop's other filters to the smart object, the filters will be added as smart filters, which means they remain fully editable. To see how it works, I'll delete my merged layer by dragging it down on to the trash bin at the bottom of the layers panel. To merge all three of my original layers into a smart object, I'll click on the top layer to select it. Then I'll press and hold my shift key and I'll click on the bottom layer. This selects all three layers at once. I'll click on the menu icon in the upper right corner of the layers panel and then I'll choose convert to smart object from the menu. This merges all of my layers into a smart object. We know it's a smart object by the smart object icon in the lower right of the thumbnail. To make changes to the effect, I can simply edit the smart object by double clicking on its thumbnail. This opens the contents of the smart object in a separate document. If we look in the layers panel, we see all of my original layers still intact. I'll turn off the black and white adjustment layer by clicking its visibility icon. This restores the original color in the image. Then back in the Layers panel, I'll select the Hue Saturation Adjustment layer, and in the Properties panel, I'll change her eye color from blue to green by dragging the Hue slider to the left. 
To have our changes appear in the main document, we need to save and close the Smart Object document. To save it, I'll go up to the File menu and choose Save. And then to close the Smart Object, I'll go back up to the File menu and choose Close. Back in the main document, the Smart Object instantly updates with our changes. And because we merged the layers as a smart object, there's no need to merge them again at this point if I want to apply sharpening. I can simply apply the sharpening directly to the smart object. I'll do the same thing I did before by going up to the filter menu, choosing Sharpen, and then choosing Smart Sharpen. In the Smart Sharpen dialog box, I'll use the same settings and I'll click OK. Photoshop applies the sharpening to the effect, just as it did when we were using a merged layer. But this time, because the sharpening filter was applied to a smart object, Photoshop converted it into a smart filter, which we see in the Layers panel. Just like smart objects, smart filters are non-destructive. If you need to add it the sharpening amount, you can just double-click on the name Smart Sharpen to reopen its dialog box and make your changes. Then click OK to close the dialog box. And because the sharpening is being applied directly to the smart object itself, not to the layers inside it, it will remain applied even if you reopen the smart object and make further changes. I'll reopen my smart object by double-clicking on its thumbnail. And this again reopens the contents with all of my layers in the separate document. I'll turn the black and white adjustment layer back on by clicking once again on its visibility icon. And this converts the image back to black and white. Again, I'll save my change by going up to the File menu and choosing Save. And then I'll close the smart object by going back to the File menu and choosing Close. Back in the main document, the Smart Object once again updates with my latest change. And if we look in the Layers panel, we see that there's no need to resharpen the image because the Smart Sharpen Smart Filter is still being applied. And there we have it! That's how and why to merge layers as Smart Objects in Photoshop. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider liking it, sharing it, and subscribing to our channel. Visit our website, photoshopessentials.com, for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm Steve Patterson from photoshopessentials.com.